these small little slips of paper, what we'd like you to do is just to identify your top three choices. Number one would be the first country in the Middle East that you'd like to represent in this model United Nations. So with the emergence of the proficiencies, it's been kind of tough on veteran teachers. You get comfortable doing things one way, and all of a sudden things change somewhat dramatically, and it, uh, it's a real challenge. It's a big mental shift, I think, for teachers in that a lot of times, especially in high school, we tend to start with like, what's the content that's most interesting or most dynamic or most important for students. And then the skills come, you know, hopefully, if at all, after the fact. So this is just a total reversal of that. It's putting the skills first and foremost. What are the things that students need to be able to do in ninth grade, at the end of high school, in life in general? And then the content is just a vehicle to give students a practice. These are skills that you're practicing today that all of us, all of you, will use no matter what. Uh, and these are the things that Mr. Scheffler and I really picked out as sort of the skills behind what you're doing. And reading critically and being able to identify main ideas, even if something which you don't fully comprehend from beginning to end, it's a huge skill. There are a lot of positives with this system in terms of the opportunity for students to amend some of their work. I've had difficulties in this class and when I do, I can always redo things or design my own project so I can earn my proficiencies that way, which I find is really nice because I couldn't do that before. It was kind of just, you take a test and if you didn't do well on it, then you were kind of just stuck there. I mean, you're never really given much information besides you just got a lower grade. But if you do like proficiencies and you get like a lower proficiency, it tells you exactly what parts of it you were lower on and what parts you did really well. And I really like appreciate that. <laughs> it's not like the nicest thing to say, but I'm on the side of like proficiencies where I'm not too into it. I think a lot of students dislike proficiencies and are having so much trouble with it. Normally with grading, if you see a number, I feel like you can get in more detail with numbers. A student can see a report card with numerical grades on it and think they know exactly how they're doing, as artificial as those numbers might be. Sometimes it's a rubric or if you, you like, yeah, most of the time it's a rubric, but then if you're, you are unhappy with your rubric, you have to go talk to your teacher. Our reporting system that we switched to this year was really convoluted, not really clear to students or parents. Uh, and it's caused our, our school to make some adjustments for next year, and adopting a whole new reporting system. Um, th that will be a huge improvement. A lot of it is left to the ninth grade to figure out. Like, we still don't know like what the guidelines are. We're coming up with all of the rubrics for this. Kind of feel like guinea pigs. We're trying stuff out on them, which is, in a sense, true. We are. We're also guinea pigs ourselves, though, right along there with them, like trying to refine our craft, trying to refine education. So that means that students, teachers, parents, politicians, everyone needs to be re-educated on this process and needs to be open and give this new system an opportunity to prove itself. Any uh, questions for this group?